What's up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance War and for this war I brought in Blade and uh, Void and I brought uh, Ghost Rider obviously for the synergy. Um, up first I see that there is a skill on the unblockable first and this was actually my first thought. Um, I mean not sure why you place them on here. Um, you don't have to evade all of his bullets. You don't actually have to evade any of the bullets. Uh, just evade the first kick. And, um, you know, you just evade some of the bullets just to reduce the damage, even though uh, those bullets, they don't do a whole lot of damage. But I guess if you do get caught by it and he does have a lot of furies, then it can do some serious damage. I mean, like if you if you uh, parried him like I did there and then tried to attack and then uh, he did a, a uh, special one, then you can take some serious damage. But as long as you're, you're playing uh, very carefully, then um, yeah, it's not going to be a difficult fight there. So, uh, like I said, pretty easy fight there. Um, up next, we got another skill, uh, unawakened skill, and um, this is the Bane node. Um, I don't really like this node too much, depending on who I'm facing. But when it comes to Killmonger, he's not a difficult champ to bait out his specials. He uh, Pretty much, if if he doesn't throw his first special, typically his second special, as long as you back away or like right there, he just threw it right away. But uh, a lot of times, if you back away, kind of like um, Venom, and there's someone else that that's like that. When you back away, uh, they just go ahead and lunge at you. I think it's Sabretooth, his first special, and when you back away, he'll just lunge at you with it, and that's how Killmonger is with his second special. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, pretty easy fight. He, he wasn't awakened, so I didn't have to worry about that strike back damage. Um, up next, we have um, Yondu here, and I was trying to figure out who I wanted to use for this fight. If I was going to use Void, or if I was going to go in with Blade. Ultimately, I ended up going in with Void. Um, I've done it with Blade before, and basically what what you have to do with Blade is just get into that rhythm. I tr try to push him as close as possible to one bar of power, and then um, and then start baiting out his specials. So bait bait out his first special, and then do a combo. We'll throw the L1, and then he'll pretty much throw his uh, first special again, and just do that the whole fight. Try to get him down that way. But I went in with void and it wasn't going too bad until uh, pretty soon I'm, I'm gonna get hit um, I, was, I was dashing back ended up taking a combo I uh, can't remember where exactly that happens but I believe it's coming up here pretty soon um, yeah right there and then uh, trying to get away from him again he throws his first or second special wasn't expecting that got hit by that uh, so yeah now I gotta throw my second special and I actually use this special a lot in arena, but uh, not so much in, in uh, war fights just because in, in war I'm trying to get those debuffs and trying to get fear to void, uh, but in, in arena I'm just trying to uh, finish the fight off quicker and the L2 does more damage than the L1. I um, can't remember if I make any more mistakes here, I don't, I don't think that I do. Uh, it's just turned out to be a, a long fight. Um, I am in Fear of the Void, so I don't have to worry about the regen right now. I do want to get to um, uh, two Petrified debuffs, or at least one, so that I can start doing some negative damage on them, um, you know, whenever I dash back. But, uh, yeah, just waiting, waiting. Finally, I got the, the Petrified debuffs, so now I need that timer to expire and go ahead and evade an attack and I want to do it before fear the void wears off so waiting hope waiting for him to dash in there it goes got that um, that uh, dexterity buff at the end to finish the fight off uh, up next we got Thor Ragnarok on the other buffet node and um, I decided to go in here with blade and I, one of the things about I don't like about fighting gladiator Hulk in War is uh, I have to really worry about that smash. You know, whenever he smashes, you have to wait for the full animation of his attack. You can't just like go in after 
he attacks and um, so that's what I was trying to remember this whole fight is just pay attention to when he has smash um, if he smashes on an attack don't go in on him messed up there so I uh, missed out on a lot of damage right there and then um, other thing is I don't want to evade his uh, specials just go ahead and block them and uh, get some some regen while I'm blocking um, obviously right now I wasn't getting regen just because I wasn't below that 70% health but now I am so there he is smash and I believe it's this special right here I go in on him and as soon as I did I was like ah oh, man I was supposed to wait there so uh, now um, kinda messed up right now I uh, couldn't attack there because of the smash, can't attack there because of the smash, so finally able to uh, get an open in there. You don't want to intercept him either because you don't know if he's going to smash on that attack, so so basically he, he would be unblockable. Um, but yeah, kind of trying uh, getting backed up, I'm trying to back him up, but you know I have to bait out another special, so now he's going to start uh, getting some regen. Uh, yeah, he got some there. I shouldn't have evaded that, but uh, since my health was kind of kind of low, I didn't want to uh, to block it. So, got in a two second specials there. Uh, typically, I, I like to throw that that first special. Um, See, so yeah, I blocked that uh, that whole special there. Uh, getting him down there. Uh, drop another L2 here, and does that finish it off? No, no, close. Um, got a bait out another special, and I was good amount of distance there, but he had his uh, he was unstoppable there, so I had to back off and wait. So finish him off right there with that L1. Uh, shouldn't have been that difficult of a fight, but like I said, I did mess up on that that um, that one attack where he he had smash up, and I, I went in so. Uh, if I wouldn't have messed up there, then I probably could have got him down faster because uh, I wouldn't have been backed up and trying to regenerate and all that stuff. Uh, so on to the next fight. Uh, I got the uh, aggression armor up, and I go ahead and pop a combat regen boost. And um, I always see a tech on this node, and you know, it's just to make people think that it's going to be a uh, Infinity War Iron Man which uh, sometimes it is rarely it is these days but uh, you know they, they want you to still expect him to be there still prepare for him to be there though when he's not there then it you know it's just basically a, a sigh of relief because it's a, a much easier fight um, and uh, yeah the Labyrinth of Legends uh, Ultron, a pretty easy fight, especially when you're stopping his evades from happening with the, the debuffs on him. Um, he does end up getting one evade, and I think that's not this combo, but the next combo he does evade. Uh, but I, I think he evades and then he blocks, so yeah. Um, the only thing about attacking into his block is you have to worry about that explosive personality once you get to five, but I was nowhere near that, so didn't have to worry about that. Um, up next, we have a Mystic here on the um, Arc Overload node, and you know you go in, you see three persistent charges, you know that it's going to be a Mephisto, so uh, pretty easy decision here. I wanted to hurry up and get in there so that I can get some more regen from the uh, the uh, regen boost and fight goes uh, smoothly for the most part uh, I do end up messing up towards the middle or towards the end of the fight just uh, just uh, I guess not concentrating enough um, uh, basically what happened is he throws the first special and I just charge in too soon like way too soon um, Instead of waiting like that and then going in, I, I, I went like probably like half a second too early on it. Um, but no big deal because uh, Void is immune to incineration, so 
Um, that is the big part of the damage. The L1 doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And the other thing that it did, it just blocked me from being able to get the dexterity boss, which, you know, I don't care too much about that anyway. So, uh, not a whole lot of damage uh, felt there. So, it didn't really matter. The big thing is that I'm blocking all of his regen. So, don't have to worry about the regen towards the end of the fight or any of the uh, arc overloads once I got to those petrified debuffs and then you know of course fear to avoid um, this is the final fight that I recorded I did do a fight against the boss well, a few fight against the boss um, he had the node up and he had a couple nodes up or links up um, the main reason why I brought blade in here was to regenerate him uh, just in case I needed him for the boss and ended up needing him uh, basically we had two Mini bosses still up, and there was like 15 or 20 seconds left in war, so I had to go in on them with the nodes up. It was the uh, middle one and the debuff immune, which, when using blade, that one didn't matter too much because he he uh, he's already bleed immune, and you can't stun them. But when using void, it meant that I can't couldn't get any of my um, debuff applied on them for the extra damage. But uh, yeah, it took me like. I want to say like uh, maybe four revives, something like that, to get him down. And I used like uh, three invulnerability boosts. That way I didn't have to ro worry too much about uh, baiting out the specials and getting that, uh, the uh, what is it, the degeneration on me. Um, but yeah, the, if I would have recorded that, I probably would have added like another ten minutes to this. And uh, yeah, I was just too focused. And, on trying to get him down to um, yeah but uh, yeah we, we did end up taking him down we ended up taking down uh, one more mini boss it was this juggernaut up here we ended up taking down um, after uh, Dormammu went down and uh, with those two going down that was just enough to get us to win uh, as you can see, we we had the same amount of defender uh, remaining. Our attack boost was just too higher. Our uh, um, the uh, was diversity was lower, but our exploration was higher as well. So, uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.